<clears throat> Hello. Today is um Sunday, November 14th, 2021 at 5.05 p.m. in the afternoon. Why does my hair look like this? It's kind of sticking up right here. <clears throat> but anyway... Um, it's not exactly dark yet, but very much on the verge of getting dark. <clears throat> you see these strands of hair, like right here, and I have facial hair right here. <clears throat> um, I heard that it has something to do with the, um, steroids that I was forced to take in foster care. So I... You know, like when people talk about um, celebrities and female to male transgenders and male to female transgenders and stuff, like they say that a man's, um, a man's um, index finger is usually but uh, I mean they say that the ring finger is smaller than the index finger or about the same size or whatever but on both hands my um my index finger is shorter than the um than the ring finger but on my right hand my um ring finger looks almost the same length as the middle finger but it's but on my left hand my um index finger is almost as long as the ring finger but in the in the middle finger is the tallest but I'm still all female I mean I have breasts and I have menstruation you know, every month. <clears throat> I wonder. It's like everything seemed all quiet. And now there's high traffic once I started my video. <clears throat> but I just uploaded the um video from last night using strictly the Wi-Fi. And it took a couple of hours. It took a struggle to try to get it uploaded. And so, um, it took a struggle to get it uploaded. So, let me try to turn the fan, I mean, the uh, heater off. I mean, because sometimes I wonder if y'all are able to hear me at night when it comes off and on when it wants to. <sighs> I shouldn't do this in the dark. Hold up. So, um, yeah, so I turned the heater off, but, so, um, I need to try to put my earbuds in because I'm distracted by the traffic, traffic that I didn't hear before I started the video, it was all quiet, um, so, hold on right quick. Every time I get in, into this bed, I always have this fear that it's going to break. I try to get in as gently as possible. Um, hold up. So, I don't know if I'll do another video later on today um hold up i'm sorry y'all i'm about i, I should have um but yeah so <clears throat> now i have my earbuds and i i can better concentrate and focus on what i need to say so um <clears throat> come to find out um <clears throat> I've been having like 
there's a reason I wish I could say, but I get punished if I say why. But <clears throat> I've been having like odd menstrual periods lately. And this month, I mean, I know something weird happened last month, <clears throat> but this month, I, um, this month, I have not had a period yet, but I know the online perps were gonna, they're gonna jump to conclusion and just start a, falsely assuming all kinds of stuff that's not true, um, <clears throat> so I might as well be quiet, but <clears throat> I am wrongfully and unjustly suspended for a week on Twitter since this morning like a few days ago they had me suspended for a day and now they have me suspended for a week for posting certain things to you know that's the truth and it's like I thought that uh, I mean I think it seems like as if it's automatic you know <clears throat> so I hate being forced to um muzzle myself or censor myself <clears throat> and then if I try to um if I try again to tweet another tweet or do another action then they start like say if I try to tweet something right now if I was suspend suspended this morning they will re, re they will reset the suspension for 168 hours from now rather than this morning <clears throat> so i can't have any activity on twitter <clears throat> so um so then i had to just find something to do you know but um <clears throat> i was told last night that i have to go somewhere else and do a get my laundry done which is a pain in the ass I um so so that takes away I mean I miss I mean so I'm kind of frustrated about that that I have to find somewhere else to go to get laundry done <clears throat> and so um this is what happened yesterday um when I booked my uber going coming from Walmart yesterday fake fail mart and when I mean I was out there like seven minutes in advance waiting like as soon as I booked the ride I walked outside and stood there and so the girl was Hispanic and doesn't know any English and I don't know what Hispanic country, what Spanish country, speaking country she's from. But um, I kept trying to flag her down. And I think she did stop for a bit somewhere else. And um, I kept flagging her down, to, trying to signal for her to come that I'm the person you're supposed to pick up. <clears throat> and so then she ignored me. And kept going the opposite way. And I'm like, what are you doing? And so then I figure, okay, this is what gang stalkers do. They freaking um, pass you up. I mean, I've had a gang stalker do that one time coming from the storage unit. And the motherfucker made sure to have one headlight. And then, I mean, it's weird how somebody would be a gang stalker, but then they pretend to be fake nice. But then they go out of their way to help you, though. And then you be like screwed up in the head, like and confused. <clears throat> so it took her at least almost ten minutes, and that's in that parking lot to just go. She was going the opposite way, like I filmed her doing, <clears throat> and then she turned around and took a while to turn her back around and come back and pick me up. <clears throat> and so then. This is like maybe the third time she wanted me to put, I mean, the third time I had somebody do this pin confirmation to um confirm that that's me. 
in which normally Uber rides, I don't have to, um, I really don't have to, you know, have the driver put in my, the last four digits of my phone number as a pin or whatever. So she kept putting in the wrong number. And then I was even saying it in Spanish and she still kept trying to put in the wrong number and said, said that I was putting in the wrong number. And so I started to put her on film. And when she started to say, like, barely knowing that good English, she threw up the 666 hand sign, you know, with her right hand, with her right hand, you know. She, she, you know, she did that with her right hand. So, and then she tried to, I mean, it's like, are you putting in the wrong number on purpose? So then they had a, a bunch of people gang stalking me super heavy, one headlight, funny headlights, you know, and then like some, somebody would roll us on the side of us and then got in front of us. And then the police snuck out of nowhere and pulled over the person who was in front of us. And, um, you know. Out here, they, they're constantly giving people... I ne in Pensacola, I don't really see this. But here in Gulf Breeze, every almost every day I'm seeing somebody getting pulled over by police. I heard since it's a low crime area and people are so rich and everything, <clears throat> the police use that to try to make their money. You know, or meet quotas and stuff. And that's that should be fraudulent on the police's part, you know. So, I mean, then we, we made it to my place and she helped me with the groceries and stuff. So I gave her a $5 cash tip. <clears throat> so I didn't realize until this morning that the, the fare was adjusted from $16.97 to $18.48. And then she charged me an extra, um, uh, secretly charged me an extra, um, and, and I, I, something told me do not even tip her, even with helping, but I felt kind of bad, you know, like, it, something, you know, led me to be generous and nice, and since she helped me with the groceries, despite her being a perp, because usually, if I know you're a perp, I'm, I'm, you know, I figure, fuck you, I'm not gonna give you shit. You know, I don't tip every Uber driver either. Because <clears throat> sometimes I have just enough money to just get what get to where I need to go and don't really have much extra to spare. But I figured since you helped me with the groceries, but I felt scammed. You know, I mean, well, she acted like as if, um, no, don't. No. She's like, no, nah, I don't want to take your cash. or I don't want to take your money. But I didn't understand what she was trying to say because, you know, she didn't really know English that well. And I pretty much gave up on Spanish. So I don't remember as much Spanish as I used to. Like, I've given it up, that that desire for a Spanish-speaking career. And I never really had any Spanish-speaking friends or, you know, the Hispanics hate my guts. So I figure, you know, what's the point of me liking anything Spanish-related? So, I didn't discover until this morning that I was charged for her to have a wait time of a dollar and 51 cents extra that she charged me. And I'm like, wait a minute, I was standing out there waving at, wait, trying to flag her down. And she was the one who ignored me and went off somewhere else. And I, I called her at least twice and I texted her through the app. And she just, I, I was wondering what the hell was going on. I didn't even know she didn't know English. And I'm like, why and how the hell do they have had, you know, they must have did this to mock me, you know, um, and, and to perp me. So, but I'm, I'm not going, I mean, if somebody figured that I'm childish, for bitching about a dollar and 51 cents. Well, shucks. I work for that dollar and 51 cents and more. <clears throat> so, I mean. 
I'm pretty much frustrated about that and hope that, you know, <clears throat> that my, my little situation can get get resolved because I never really have a problem with Uber. I mean, Uber having to wait for me. Because when I book a ride, I'm I make sure I'm just I make sure I'm ready and out there, unless they like a minute away, and and it might take me a couple of minutes. But nobody they never really charge me like an extra wait time fee. Where did that come from? <clears throat> so anyway, it's still the day is not over yet, and I still have not done any writing today. It's. 5 20 p.m. right now <clears throat> and this morning when I got up <clears throat> it, it was close to 11 o'clock in the morning but I think I didn't get to fall asleep until three or four o'clock I'm like I was twisting and turning and couldn't sleep until four o'clock and I felt the sleep deprived tired feeling all day and so <clears throat> the singer Aaliyah Aaliyah's dad, Mr. Michael Houghton, was in my dog. He's deceased now also. He died 11 years after Aaliyah. So, he, <clears throat> I never really had, had any dreams about him, but maybe one. But he, I had an odd dream that he was driving me in an older model van. I don't know where he was taking me to. But that was odd that he was in my dream and driving me in, in a van somewhere. <clears throat> and like so I woke up <clears throat> and like actually it was in the middle of the night because last night it was they said it was like 45 degrees this morning so that might have been why I was cold and, and kind of you know <clears throat> couldn't sleep that great but I did get me a nice bit of sleep but then I got up at like close to 3:45 in the morning and try to turn the heater on for the first time and the alarm went off instantly <clears throat> and then a few seconds after the alarm went off that's when smoke started to um I started to smell something smoky then I got panicked and I turned it off and so then after I turned it off for a while <clears throat> the alarm thankfully went off I I mean you know, went back silent. And so I went to sleep some more and just figured I would deal with the cold. <clears throat> then later on this morning, I had to deal with um some idiot. It was way too warm in the morning for, for this idiot to be idling in his vehicle. A Jeep. It was like a, a green Jeep he had. And he was idling in it. <clears throat> And so I don't even, and, and then they had a, another perp right behind, followed right behind him. And then he went to the office and must, office and must have told him something about me. <clears throat> and then, um, then next thing you know, um, so I, tr I tried to, I left the door open. It was uh, way warmer, like already in the 60s or something. And I turned the the air, the, I mean the heater back on for a while, and it seemed like it started to work back to normal. But also this morning when I got up, I like last night before bed I prayed about my health situ my you know my health situation and my little ailments or whatever, and I did pray about the tooth abscess. And this morning I got excited because I saw so, some pus at the end of the abscess, but. The moment I move my mouth a certain way, it's like pus skeeted to the other side of my mouth. So I started to do oil pulling for the first time in a while. <clears throat> and then I brushed my teeth with the solution. But only a certain amount of um mucus came up, but not not a whole lot. But now it seems like the abscess shrunk somewhat but not totally but um <clears throat> this morning I had these prepackaged little tuna and cracker con container of tuna and crackers and, and I know a little banana nut 
bread cake or whatever that was <clears throat> and some pomegranate juice and water and and I didn't even eat breakfast breakfast because you know, it was already close to 11 o'clock. But then three hours later, I was hungry again. <clears throat> and I, um, let's see, three hours later, I was hungry again. And so I had um, a peanut butter sandwich with this Puerto Rican bread from fake Walmart. This Puerto Rican bread and some, and I put some peanut butter on it. And I had some water, fresh, like cut, pre-cut up watermelon, and a little bit of milk. The milk and certain items that seemed like in the fr fridge it got frozen, so I tried to turn the temperature down. So, I'm, but I love when milk is really cold and nearly frozen, but not quite frozen, frozen, you know. But I like it when it's ice cold milk and fresh. So. For dinner, I don't know yet what I'll have. But I said I was not going to leave this place for any reason. And I stepped out the doggone door. I said I wasn't even going to open the doggone door at all today. And look what I did. But <clears throat> um, So I don't know yet what I'll have for dinner, dinner. I guess I, when I had the peanut butter sandwich, I guess that was reverse breakfast and lunch. You know, um. Because that might be something I'll have for breakfast tomorrow. That Puerto Rican bread and peanut butter. Um, with some, I think I'll have the mixed fruit tomorrow in the morning. <clears throat> I haven't had the oatmeal, the, the oatmeal that I have with flaxseed. I, I didn't, I didn't, um, have it yet. Um, I still have that. I haven't opened the boxes yet, but, um, so I felt disappointed that I was struggling trying to get the Wi-Fi to work earlier. And then I ended up going on someone's YouTube live video and it was at least two hours. So it took up over or a little bit about a gigabyte of my phone data because the Wi-Fi was acting really stupid. And then, of course, after that, that's when the Wi-Fi started to act better. But then I was able to upload <clears throat> my whole video from last night. I was able to upload it. Um, <clears throat> I was able to upload the video from last night on strictly the Wi-Fi, but it took a couple of hours. I'm not ready to go back to work tomorrow. I'm still physically exhausted and tired, but I need to, you, you know, every week is getting nervous or, you know, trying to pray, you know, for protection, you know, because what the perps are trying to do. <clears throat> so, um, I believe that what happened earlier this morning, that perp was trying to set me up to get kicked out of here. And I've been here, but he's freaking, um, you know, I don't know if he was an actual overnight guest or he was a perp sent here <clears throat> or what, but, um, and then they had another perp car behind him waiting like they were both in cahoots with each other. So, um, it's like the perps do stuff like do something annoying to you. And then when you confront them or either confront them or put them on film or do this or do that, then they want to tattletale, tattletale on you like you did, like a three-year-old, like you did something really bad. <clears throat> Shucks. So now I got to figure out another way to get laundry done. I would hate to have to go take an Uber twice a week just to get laundry done. Because <clears throat> anything close by is like cleaners. So. Maybe because of what I ate is what made me have like high appetite today. But yesterday my appetite wasn't that heavy. 
I don't know. Oh, I think I know what I'll have tomorrow. Tomorrow morning I'll have some the peanut butter and bread and I have some boiled eggs from Walmart and um and fruit and milk. And that will be my breakfast tomorrow if I remember. <laughs> but I might do some more some some writing of something and try to you know, do Bible reading and prayer. I, and, and they had this guy, it seemed like a Bible study, a productive kind of Bible study. He's supposedly a targeted individual also. And, you know, it was a good live. But I feel uncomfortable being in the same live chat with people who, who are my enemies or fake TI perps and stuff. That's why I, I seldom go into those live videos. <clears throat> but, um... I had more to say, but I'm running out of time. But come to think of it, I was wondering if um if if I film in the dark, is it because of I thought that once I go 26 minutes and and 45 seconds, I think it cuts off around there. But I don't know if it's that or once I reach four gigabytes. I don't know. So. I'm going to try to do a short story or something or some form of writing and Bible reading and prayer. So I'll see y'all later on.